All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our Elcraft. In the last episode, we managed to find this village. Ah, I got parasites, seriously? But yeah, uh, we managed to find this village, which was really cool. We found this waystone. I already named it Home Village. I also made a change to the config, so waystones don't set your spawn point. This will allow me to set my spawn point by using a bed instead, which I just think is a much better way of doing it. I do want to go exploring for a village, so I have an idea. Basically, I'm going to die. That's my idea. I'm going to store all my stuff up in this village, and I'm going to die. But I want to make sure my spawn point isn't set to the waystone before I do. I also have four experience levels. I should probably get farming level two, because you can get uh, stuff from wheat now, which is really useful. And then we did want to get building up because we're going to need building level 12 in order to do the enchantments we want. Such as the looting two sword. Because I want to get hippogriffs in this episode. You know, I want to, at the end of the episode, I want to be able to fly. So if we die real quick, we can see where we spawn. I'm hoping it's not the waystone, but I have a horrible feeling we're going to spawn at the waystone. And we spawn here, which is perfect because now we can remove our spawn point and die. So yeah, we'll be coming back here later with the help of the Waystone. And if we die again, we can start exploring new areas. We might travel quite a long way away, which is going to suck. Because it's going to take a lot more experience to get back here. But my aim is to find a desert village, because then we can find desert rabbits. And why did I not store this up? Is this ready, my chainmail? Good job, I noticed that. I forgot about my armor. Yeah, looks like we respawned in the worst possible area. I'm just gonna die again. I'm gonna die a load of times until I find a desert. Yeah, I'll meet you guys back when we found one. Guys, you had no idea how many times I died. We went from five deaths to 142. I know I spelt desert wrong. I'm just exhausted from how many times I died. So I literally do not care at all. <laughs> okay, uh, simple solution. Can't we just pick this up? No. Okay. Yeah, we require a lot of picks for that. There's a way to cheese the battle tower golems that I figured out. Um, using a weird method. Uh, it's not the old method with a fishing rod, so... I'll show you guys later on when we actually do some, uh, battle tower golem clearing. But at least now we have a desert village, and it borders a normal biome, so if we freeze too much, we can just go in and out the biome. Now, the good thing about this place, uh, I don't know how much it's going to take to go back. I mean, there's a, there's a thing over there. I guess I could show you guys the method of clearing a battle tower uh, by cheesing a golem if I really wanted to. Is that a library? Sorted. Hell yeah. We've got some good stuff here. So what I'm going to do first is try and see how much it would take to go home. I don't want to go home. I just want to see how much. One experience. That is amazing. Uh, good to know that um, hippogriffs spawn here as well, because this is what's going to get us our hippogriff. Uh, are you a good thing? Holy crap! Projectile protection four. We gotta keep you safe, buddy. Are all these good? Man, we got a projectile protection for advanced efficiency. Oh my god! If we go back to the original village, what we'll be able to do is get that looting two book and then create a looting sword and it will help us once we've made the rabbit breeder to uh, get a load of rabbit's feet and tame a hippogriff because that that's the episode today you know we're gonna try and okay I get it I get it I get it I get it I'm not running I'm not running Are you any good you're a cartographer in a librarian place and you've merged in a block like, what? Okay. Uh, power one bow. Not bad. Uh, we've got 
Soul's Blessing. Not bad. Sharpness 3. Okay. Some good stuff there. I'm just hoping they don't have locks on them. Uh, I'm hoping the big chest doesn't. I'm breaking three to them. Uh, I'm breaking three. We're getting a lot of unbreaking three, which is nice. You any good? Cartographer. Why? Really? I guess we could get some lockpicks at some point. Right now, it's not worth it. We know we can come back here, so why don't we put all the books in this one? If we can find some arrows, I would not be against that. I get it. I'm not moving. So yeah, we want to get our levels up. So as much levels as possible. Now, the good way to do that would be to take on that uh, tower. Because then we can just get all of the bottles of enchanting and get some really good levels. I bet if we get all those bottles of enchanting, we can get at least level 10 building. And then it's just another two levels. So I'll show you the method I've... Um, created that allows you to cheese battle power golems um there is one major drawback it cannot have a lock on it if it has a lock on it then the cheese won't work you can lock pick it uh you can lock pick it but the cheese don't work and the cheese um that i figured out is you just take the chest but there's a special thing Basically, the way Shavaxia stop people from cheesing and just picking up the chests is there's a radius to the golem. The golem is placed exactly in the middle of the battle tower. So let's say uh, the golem's here, right? And then there's two blocks here, and they're in those two blocks, and the chest is there. The golem's just behind that. Um, if you were to open the chest within these two blocks, uh, the golem would attack you. But th in these two blocks here, you're in range to pick up the chest. So what you don't want to do is be over here, because if you hold shift and try and pick up the chest, the chest is going to open and the golem's going to instantly attack you. So our method is basically stop the golem's vision, because we're not trying to open the chest. We're just trying to pick it up. And so you can actually steal chests from golems using the Unreal Centum cheesing method. It is absolutely insane. I discovered it last night. I was in a creative world, uh, a creative mode world. You're seeing if there's any better way of cheesing battle tower golems. And when I figured it out, I was like, get out of freaking town. You can just steal the chest. All right. So in order for this to work, you got to know exactly what side the chest is on. You might have to kind of scaffold around it if you don't. The best way is to figure out what side the chests are on for the enemies. And you can just do that by simply reloading the chunks. And as you can see, the chest is right there. But we want the good loot, the loot at the top. So how do you cheese this thing? Shavaxi has stopped you using the uh, fishing rod. How do you cheese in a new version? Well, you can use my version. My version. Wow. My method. You basically build a giant pillar up. When you get to round about halfway. Uh, let's go up four more. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. Screw it. Yeah, round about here, you want to build a uh, four by four area. Yeah. And this this is just this this part is optional. It's literally just so you can build yourself a pool of water to jump down when you steal the chest. That's literally it. You don't need a water bucket. All you need is scaffolding stuff in any block. Now the golem Look, he isn't seeing us. If I was to move to that block there and that block there. I'd be in the golem's range and he'd start attacking. So, how do I stop the golem from attacking me? I don't want to die. Well, you simply place two blocks. And then you jump up. You place another one. You go to the side. Place another one. What up, my golem? How's life? 
Yeah, it's literally that simple. Steal the chest and jump down. Ta da! <laughs> the new cheesing method using the Unreal Sentinel method. Hell yeah. How amazing is that? <laughs> I don't know how she'll actually miss that, but yeah. Amazing new cheesing method created by me. <laughs> Spread the word, folks. Spread the word. I'll take that. Thank you. Have a nice day, Mr. Gollum. <laughs> Thanks for the loot. Appreciate it, bud. And we have potion rings. We got gold. We got stuff already. We got a charged emerald. Yeah, pretty amazing. Now, what you can do as well is you can get the second layer of loot as well if you really want to. And obviously, uh, I would like to, but I don't have a pickaxe. So I'd have to manually break into the block. And I can't be bothered to do that, so I'm just going to head down. Uh, what is this? We got... Oh, it's arcane. We got magic stuff there. All right, let's use these. That's not as much levels as I'd like. The aim was to get level 12 building. We just got level 5. I might go back up, you know, and just punch the block. And then steal the chest. So we can just pick up the chest. Jump down. Uh, you know what, we can just place it there, actually. And this is the safest method because as you're looting, nothing's gonna... We were really that close. I think he might be able to hit us from here. Yeah, let's get all this stuff and get the hell out of Dodge. Yep. Let's get all this stuff and leave. Let's leave now. Let's leave. We can die. We'll die, but we'll get our stuff back. <laughs> I can't believe I was stupid enough to forget I was that close to the golem. So, now we died, it's not going to be angry at us again. Obviously, we can't use this until we get level 16 defense and stuff. Having that uh, glowing ingot early on is really nice. Um, can I just... Yeah, there's a lot of stuff around. It's getting dark as well, so I say we go back to base and then uh, just deposit this loot. I don't know if we'll go after the third layer. <laughs> because I, I think then I really am kind of pushing my luck. I mean, I've already cheesed the golem. The quote-unquote uncheesable golem that Shavaxi quote-unquote fixed and made uncheesable. I, uh, <laughs> you know, it's not like I just literally stole the bloody chest. I mean, how... The hell he missed that, I don't know. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright, we got uh, level 6 building. We're halfway to level 12. Uh, is it level 12 for an anvil? I hope it's not higher. Yeah, level 12 building. I thought it was. Alright. So, we got quite a lot of loot from this. Look at this. We got diamond pet armor, everything. Damn, we did good. <laughs> I think now we can actually, like, create Grave Scrolls to go back to, like, death points and stuff. So, yeah, we got a Recall Potion, a couple of Blade Rods, a load of Redstone. That was easy! Yeah, you just pick up the chest and then the lock gets broken. You can just throw it away. So... We got Look at the Sea Tome, that's amazing. Can we get Look at the Sea though? We got Strife, Penetrating Edge 2, Depth Strider 3, and Respiration 3. Not the worst. Not the worst. Not the best. I was hoping for something cool, like another Looting 2, so we, we could make Looting 3. But beggars can't be choosers, I'm happy with that. I am happy with that. Uh. 
always forget the way back to my base. It's literally right up there from the library. We don't want to get too close to these hippogriffs. They are very, very territorial creatures. Okay, I'm beginning to overheat. Mm. I don't see any alpha around, so we can kill those jousts. I do want to fall down because I don't want to die. It's, and also, if we die, we'll lose all of our levels. And that would suck. I mean, it's not like we just spent the last 10 minutes trying to get levels or anything. So, hypothermia is still going on. But it's on zero. Which is not great. There we go. The more deeper submerged you are in water, the less temperature affects you. So... It cools you down, basically, the deeper you go. Level 7. There we go. Right. Uh, we want building level 7. There we go. Because we want the ability to enchant stuff eventually. I don't think we're going to be able to get a hippogriff today. I mean, I'm going to try, but the level requirements are kind of crazy. There's a very easy way to get experience. If you're wondering why I got speed 3, um, when you cook joust meat, it gives you a speed 3 uh, movement bonus. So now we get 39 wool. We can turn that all in a string. And that gets us entire stacks of string that we can uh, turn in for emeralds. Not to mention, that's also going to reset that guy's inventory. Thanks for the experience. This is going really well. That is insane. All right, now we can just trade back for the uh, arrows. And then we can just trade for the uh, emeralds again. Uh, we'll probably have to wait a while. Just wait for him to level up. You going to level up, dude? There we go. And I've got nine, which means I can get to the next stage. We're at nine out of 12. We're getting there. This is working. It's working. Oh, it's not a buy any more string, is it? Theoretically, I could get gravel for stuff. And then it could reset him. But I'd need like 10 gravel. Is this all gravel? 10 gold for an emerald. Not worth it. Oh, but we need the experience. Why am I doing this? We need the experience to fix that guy's inventory. <laughs> God damn it, I literally just cheesed the tower for this. There we go, he's refreshed now. Does he... Ooh! Okay, we're cool. Unlimited redstone. We're cool. We're cool. <laughs> that was worth it. Man. Remember the last episode where I risked everything for a single piece of individual goddamn redstone? All right, I can reset your inventory now. I had to trade so much for this. If your inventory doesn't get reset, I'm going to shove that flint so far up your backside, villager. I swear to God. Thank you. I'll always remember to keep a goddamn emerald on me now. All right, we got 12 experience. We can get to the next level. We just need one more level to get to level 12. This is insane. We got eight levels already. We literally need one more level for the enchantment to work. Well, for the anvil to work. I've been taking a look at the bounty screen and this is achievable. Just require 15 diamonds and you get all that. I'm doing that one. You don't have everything needed. So you just you just click it in your hands once you've got everything. All that rewards. All that stuff does for 15 diamond. Do I get to keep the diamonds? If I don't, it's going to be annoying. But at the end of the day, at least I'll get 10 emerald. Plus a load of other stuff. Literally, if we smelt down both these armors, we have enough. I think when you smelt one down, you get eight at a time. So that's 16 right there. So this could go well. I don't know how much you'll get from these now, though. Shavaxi might have changed it. You get seven instead of eight. Okay, so that's 14. So we just need one more. We literally just... I mean, this one kind of sucks. It's lower attack, lower speed. 
so we can just use this uh, chest plate. And then we can get ourselves a load of rewards. Like, that's kind of crazy, right? It's kind of crazy. Push me out the way, villager. Activate. Uh, bounty requirements met. Fulfill your bounty by right-clicking on the bounty board. Okay. Right-clicking with it on the bounty board. I guess we'll go back down to the bounty board. I guess it's called a bounty board then. I did not know that. Wow! That's so cool! I love that! We got greenhouse glass as well! Oh, we could start a farm. This is so good. I love the bounty system. I love the... I really do. Nine raw arrow meat and one iron saber. Sixteen signs. For insect treats. All right. So we should be able to continue... Getting levels now because that should refresh his inventory. Please, please refresh your inventory. I hate this guy so much. What if I was to buy a bow from him? Oh, I don't want to waste my emerald. Can you? You know what, I don't need you anymore, but now you refresh your inventory when I don't need you. Great. We can we, we can buy that stuff from him. I just want extra levels for when we have to get the attack. But I tell you what, we've now got building level 12. That is insane. Look at all the stuff we got as well. Guys, look at this. 66 stone for 20 emeralds. What the hell? I'm not questioning it, but what the hell? I don't think this is going to do. I don't think. Ah, oh, we got six seconds. We missed it. Damn it. Expired. All right, guys. I'm almost at attack level eight. So if I can do that. I just need two more levels. I don't want to wander off too far from base. Because if we die, we're not going to know where to go to get back. So attack level eight. We now have everything we needed. We needed uh, build building level 12 and attack level eight. And we've done that. We've actually got to the levels necessary to start getting a hippogriff. I, so I think I'm going to leave the episode there. Because in the next episode, I do want to get a hippogriff. The reason I'm leaving it there is because it's getting kind of long and I have a lot of editing to do. So I'll see you guys tomorrow where we'll try and get a hippogriff. But you know what? I think we did really well today. We've done quite a lot. We've kind of cheesed our way through the episode, let's face it. We got all those emeralds that kick-started a bunch of experience. I mean, we're on episode two and we've already got 12 building. <laughs> That's saying something right there. So we can now make ourselves an iron greatsword, I believe. We can use iron tools. Well, iron uh, weaponry anyway. Because we need the iron great sword yep and the reason we want the great sword is it's got sweep two you see there how it's got reach one and sweep two well the reach will kill all the other bunnies at the same time and um th no the sweep will and the reach will allow us to hit every last one of them so it, it so it's kind of like the best weapon you can do for killing bunnies in bulk <laughs> And yeah, so we can make a breed a rabbit breeder in the next episode and get ourselves a hippogriff, which is insane. <laughs> I never thought we'd even make it to the current levels. There were times where I wanted to give up because of how hard and tedious it was, but you know what? That's our Elcraft. It makes you die inside. And that's why I love this game so much. 
So I'll see you all uh, in the next episode tomorrow. And as always, I'm Real Sentinel. Peace out.